fraction x to the ninth minus 3 squared. Come in. Hi, Mom. Hi. Still working so late on Friday night? This is my last algebra problem. I'm going to save my history until tomorrow. Sarah. Sarah, your father and I appreciate the fact that you take your schoolwork seriously. But, well, couldn't you manage to arrange your time so you could have a little fun to... I have a certain amount of homework to do, and I like to get it done on time. But you have the whole weekend. You could go out on Friday night or have somebody in. Like or... them? Is that what you mean? Having a good time is all I mean. And that's why I talked to Ron's mother the other you day. You and... didn't. Well, I suppose you fixed it so he'd have to invite me over. I might have, if it had been necessary. But I found out that those Friday night get-togethers are open houses. You could go. I know I could if I wanted to. I don't. I think you should go. You're only young once and Mother, you... Mother, don't be so corny. There's nobody over there I want to see. I think I'd better finish my algebra. Of course, dear. We'll talk about this some other time. are certainly a nice bunch, Ron. Yeah, they're the greatest. Do you suppose they'd like to help you do something really nice? What do you mean, Mom? Well, how about being more friendly to Sarah Inman? Sarah I... Inman? Oh, Mom. No, really, dear, I mean it. Now you could invite Sarah over here next Friday to join Ask us. Ask Sarah to come over here? Well, gee whiz, why? Well, don't you want her to come? No, I don't particularly want her. Sarah Inman... Now, Ron, you know we've always said that all of your friends are welcome here at any time. Well, I know, Mom, but, well, the idea just kind of grew. We've got a large game room, well-stocked refrigerator, and lots of good records. So the gang started drifting in here on Friday. Nobody needed to be asked, but Sarah never came. She's too high hat for that. She wants a special invitation, and if she gets it, it'll be just one more reason for her to think she's better than anybody else. Now, look here, Ron. Years ago, when you had rheumatic fever, don't you remember who it was who came over here every day and read to you by the hour? Well, sure, Mom, but well, she's changed since then. Oh, no, Ron, I don't think she's really changed. Why don't you give her a chance? Well, she was good to me once. I guess I can ask her to honor us with her presence. Call her tomorrow. Thanks, son. You know, growing up brings different problems to different people. And some, well, they just don't quite bring it off without falling down somewhere. Well, if you ask me, where Sarah fell down was when she went into junior high. When she was in grade school, she, she was swell. She made good grades and had lots of friends. But when she started going to junior high with lots of other sharp kids, she couldn't be a big wheel. Now she's in senior high and... Oh. oh, it's too bad. It seems... Well, you know, it sounds like she needs a friend. You're nominating me? I don't know. She may cut me dead. She does lots of other people. And I don't think she cares at all. Her Highness has a new sweater. Ooh, it's luscious. You've got a hand it to Sarah. She certainly has good taste. 
<laughs> the way she acts, you'd think nobody else did. She'll hear you. That's an awful pretty sweater, Sarah. Well, don't speak. Were you talking to me? Never mind. Hear nobody, see nobody, talk to nobody. That's Sarah. No, no wonder she had any friends. And Matthew made secretary. Yeah, Jerry made vice president. President, oh, Bill Tyler. That's oh, great. Bill Tyler. Bill. Bill. Hey, congratulations. Bill made president. Jerry made vice president and Matthew made secretary. Uh, what's all the excitement? Oh, it's the results of the election for next year's student council officer. <laughs> Bill Tyler made president. Hey, let's go. Oh, sure, okay. I'll see you. I suppose you don't think Bill's the best man for the job? Hmm. Oh, that girl. Uh, she's just sore because we picked Bill's design for the yearbook cover instead of hers. Let's go to class. I know you shoot us all out of the kitchen, but I don't mind drying dishes. Besides, I wanted to talk to you, Pumpkin. You did? You were so quiet during dinner. Something's bothering you. Care to cry on my shoulder? Daddy, there's nothing to cry about. Not one little thing? There are lots of little things we could talk about. But it wouldn't do any good. I'm waiting. Oh, all right. You'll think I'm silly. Well, this morning, when I came to class, I, I was worried about the history test, first period. I was going over it in my mind, and somebody spoke to me, Nancy Yeager. I didn't hear what she said, but she looked at me as if she just hated me. I worked hard on the history test, but I flubbed it. I know there are lots of people in there that don't study half as hard as I do, and they come off with the A's. I'm smarter than they are. I know I am. Last week, I, I worked just hours and hours on design for the yearbook cover. Bill Tyler handed in just a blotchy sketch. I couldn't see anything to it. His design is going to be on the yearbook cover. It isn't fair. This afternoon, Ron from next door called and invited me over Friday night. I had to say yes because Mother's been pressuring me, but I don't want to go. Bill Tyler will be there, and I don't like him. President of Student Council. All the kids that get by on apple polishing will be there, too, and I don't like them. Pumpkin. I'm sorry you don't like so many people. Friends are important in this world. You should encourage others to make good and not dislike them for it. I think maybe your mother's right. I think you should go to Ron's get-together this Friday. Try to like people for whatever they are. That's all the dishes. I can clean out the sink. Okay, Pumpkin. Just one more question. All these people you don't like, aren't they happier than you are? Aren't they happier than you are? Aren't they happier than you are?
look at them, playing up to them. Bill Tyler, big man. Everything he does is too, too clever. Makes me sick. I'm just as good as he is. No, I'm better. He'll get no playing up from me. I didn't know which is going to wear out first, me or the music. Hey, how about it? You want to dance? I'd rather not. Well, you want to sit and talk then? I'd rather not. Not with you. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you mad. Oh, are you satisfied? I don't know what you're talking about. You really froze him out, didn't you? I don't know what business it is of yours if I don't want to dance. Well, I think you did want to dance. You wanted to dance, all right, but you just couldn't pass up the chance to be a snob. Can I do anything? No. Oh, John, they're, they're so mean and hateful. They don't understand anybody who is one of their gang and doesn't do all the silly things they do. They don't understand. Wait a minute. Isn't there something I could... The snob, hurting everyone. Herself, her parents, her friends, other people. What makes Sarah act the way she does? Is it a cover-up for some lack she feels in herself? Can a friend like Ron help her in any way? Is the group justified in judging everything Sarah does as snobbery? What do you think?